over about a quarter of the land, um, compost was was added to that soil. However, you know, it would, it would have been good to do it for the entire plot, but it's just funds did not allow allow that to happen. After the processes of like opening up the soil and putting some compost down on some of it, um, we put, put down a, a cover crop, so a mixture of 30 species, some of which were sort of native, some of which were grasses like rye and oats and wheat, and, and others were um, others were kind of perennial um, plants. And, and what the idea with that was to have to have a continuous cover of, of, of the soil to protect it, and to have a, a source of biomass that could then be added into the soil and kind of form that, um, provide the necessary carbon for the soil to actually start being built again. So yeah, that kind of fits into our process, like you know, that's, that's what's going to be decomposing, that's what the microorganisms are going to be decomposing and building new soil out of. In parts where we've sown um, uh, cover crops in combination with organic compost, a lot of uh, cover crops have come up that really like nitrogen and in places like here where we've sown uh, cover crops in combination with organic fertilizer pellets which are less uh, concentrated a, a more varied kind of uh, number of species have come up and we also see a lot of uh, species that we didn't actually plant uh, that came up by themselves and that are native like the rocket um, and these hippocombs which are the cute yellow flowers so it's really good to see this biodiversity and it's going to help uh, the soil retain water and it's going to um, improve the soil as well.